And from being just extremely awesome, Jaron Jackson was always a really interesting type of big prospect, um, where his archetype is this kind of like perimeter mover guy with instincts. Uh, it was kind of rare, and I will, I'll, I'll show you what I mean as, as we go through this. Obviously, Jaron, you know, erase blocks uh, or erase shots like this with his, with his instincts and his length. It was obviously able to, to cover ground. Um, pretty quickly for a guy his size, um, you know, he's able to one two over here and spike it off the glass really quickly. But what really made Jaron special was his agility and his ability to guard the perimeter and specifically to move around screens and change directions. Jaron was sticking with you know guys like Duncan Robinson. He's not just able to you know get skinny enough around this screen, but he sticks his hand out to force a pass. Like this is pretty good screen nav for you know a guy who's 6'11 or 6'10 this is like rare stuff for big men um because most most big men just are terrible at change of direction how you punish a or how you really you know know a big is great is if they can change directions on the perimeter because like a lot of bigs like if you give them a cushion like can slide in one or two directions uh like on an iso but most bigs can't do this they dig you know, dig at the nail, close out, change directions, and contest. Most bigs can't do that much, like, lateral, omnidirectional movement. And Jaron is immediate in his direction change, um, in his, just the general pacing of his movement. And this kind of stuff just translates all over the floor. This is probably my favorite play in here. Um, not only because Jaron, you know, has the, the timing and the instincts to block this, uh, look how look how he like totally mirrors the ball handler's movement like the ball handler the ball handler's pace like he stops right there a little bit as the ball handler stops um, which is just unbelievable like requires an un unbelievable amount uh, an unbelievable amount of mental and physical dexterity to to pull shit like that off he was just so impressive as this like real closeout big with impressive hips and while you know I, I definitely wouldn't call him a switch defender the the iso stuff worked because like a surefire switch guy like the iso stuff worked because of his quick hips his ability to change directions and just like in golf shots like this um you know his he's not maybe the the laterally quickest or most explosive but because he can immediately shift his hips like that's like a couple frames basically i think let's let's go through that so his hips are right here um, that's one, like one, two, three, four, I don't know. It's like a, it's not very many, but <laughs> Jaron is able to, to, to move like almost no other big man can move. And like, it's simple little stuff. Like not only is he going to cut this drive off with his ability to move his feet and flip his hips and change directions and then force a turnover with his length. But look at the, at, right at the beginning of this play where Jaron Jackson not only has to like um he doesn't only have to like switch here he has to kind of like change directions because he's switching a weave and mo many bigs might not be able to immediately stop here and then slide over to to kind of get his hands on him and if this was a more potent driver i love charles matthews but he's not you know not that guy on on the ball then this is probably like an easy path to the rim and because jaron has the foot speed and the agility um and the change of direction that he you know he he disallows that advantage before it even starts and this is stuff uh where again like you see him changing direction moving speeds on ball uh, it's all very impressive uh, this play i like because watch where jaron starts uh his like his his acceleration like he is exactly at the same like level as this very fast point uh, just this this guard um, and Jaron is able to beat him to the spot without a running start. Like, just unbelievable dexterity, acceleration, quickness. Like, he was like a fluid perimeter athlete uh, of a big. Like, not the craziest athlete, uh, like, vertically not so explosive or fast, but this level of movement and coordination was, was unreal. And it's what separated, you know, like, from... A guy like Chet, for example, who, you know, is an incredible interior defender, probably better on the interior than, than Jaron. But, again, when you, when you force him to close out, it's just, he's just not moving as fluidly um, as someone like Jaron. And, again, this is, like, what makes Mobley already such an incredible NBA defender in part. I, I honestly don't think Mobley's even as fluid as Jaron in this regard. 
Um, but Mobley is able to like close out hard, flip his hips, uh, and you know block shots like that, where where other bigs get toasted on closeouts, um, especially against like any decent NBA guard. Uh, but Jaron, again, like this stuff is translating, especially finally in the NBA as he's continuing to figure out defense, blossom on offense, um, and it's just kind of polishing up. Um, like he is able to change directions and slide with you know the likes of Durant on occasion, and he's coming vertical here. And then he immediately has to shift his weight and transition to the horizontal. So this is like a kind of this is like a 90 degree like shuffle without losing any speed. Uh, it's so impressive. That's crazy dexterity. And then you have Jaron here guarding like the really tough low post split where he, he not only you know gets around the screen where a lot of bigs would get stuck when they're just not agile enough to like to move their feet and their hips and sink their shoulder like look how low Jaron gets like this is not this is, like big men do not have flexibility like this um and he's able to get low uh, and then of course he's able to move with pool and you know block him from behind which is just incredible but yeah Jaron like rather than like I think I remember him at the time being perceived as kind of like an, an instincts genius and I don't really think that was the case um I think the instincts were really good but not anything amazing and the tools weren't you know, vertically weren't incredible, but the perimeter movement and the fact that in a switch heavy, you know, screen heavy, off ball movement heavy NBA, that he can keep up and be a disruptor out there where, you know, most teams have at least one guy on there who's a total liability in that regard. Um, so Jaron's just such a cool player, uh, is blossoming into a star uh, and certainly one of my favorite guys to watch in the league.